love. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. It's faith which worketh by love. And then when you get the promise of God, you receive it by faith. And yeah. hope is that godly any moment now, any day now. Yes. Any day now, I'm going to get my healing. Any day now, my son is going to get delivered from drugs. Hallelujah. Ow. Ow. Any day now, my wife is going to get saved. Any day now, my husband is going to get delivered. I have faith in God. Yes. Hebrews 11, 6. That's number Praise one. God. Without faith, you can't please God. Number two, Romans 5, That's 5. True. And hope maketh not a shame. The Hallelujah. word means confused, because confounded. Of of God. Uh -huh. When you get hope, you are straight. Set your face like a flint. Oh. Devil, you're not going to push me around. I'm unmovable. I'm steadfast. I'm abounding in the work of the Lord. For the glory of those things set before. Oh, yes. He endured. He endured the cross. Set his face like a flint. Only Jesus Christ could get joy out of the cross. Why? Who for the joy that was set before him endured it. Praise the Lord. Because he saw you and I sitting out here today happy Praise in Jesus. Jesus. And he says, that's Thank worth it all. Thank if I can Jesus. wash Pastor Jesus. Tony Spell's sins away. Well, well, what about you people right now that are really going through it? Let me minister to y'all for Praise a minute. God. You say, well, if God really loved me, why am I going through the ringer right now? Yeah. I mean, I'm being wrung out. I'm being grinded on and polished. Crispy and measure. Press. All of this. The answer is, is that God is working on you. Where God leaves off, the devil picks up. God chooses his greatest warriors to fight his greatest battles. Hmm. How long has David got to run for his life? God allows Saul to chase David until there's no more Saul left in David. How long? My, my, my. How long, little sister, Until are you going to no be persecuted and, and you're going to keep running and running and running for your life until God brings you to your palace? Until there's no more of your oppressor in you. God is pressing it out of you. He's getting it out of you right now. The Bible said in, uh, I believe it's John 16, the gospel is according to St. John. You're going to want to look at that. Um, I have been in the world. I have overcome the world. Mm -hmm. In this world, you, you shall, shall have, have tribulation. tribulation. Yes, I believe it's John uh, 16 and 33. Good job. These things have I spoken to you. In the world, you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. Tribulation. I have overcome the world. So tribulation is the process of getting things out of us that shouldn't be. It's an agrarian term. It's what the harvesters did at the threshing floor when they thrashed the wheat. Is it purifying this? It's a purification process. Everything that has value undergoes a process, church. Gold undergoes fire. Oh, yes. They Diamonds strange, undergo uh -huh. pressure. Yeah. Pearls undergo irritation. That's right. Saints undergo tribulation problems, family pressures. Some of y'all has been giving unselfishly of your time and finances to the church. Mm -hmm. And the more you give and the more you're faithful and the more you pray, the more your family and your friends keep pressure, 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 pressure. And you say, I didn't have this kind of trouble in the world. Right. <laughs> well, hello. God is working on you. Praise God. Praise God. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. God, in the name of Jesus, touch Thank these you, people's Lord. minds Thank you, Jesus. today. Thank you, you know Jesus. what? You Thank ought to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. glory, Romans 5, in tribulation, in tribulation, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Why would you glory in tribulation, Pastor Spell? Hallelujah. Because God has enough faith in you to trust you <laughs> with the storm that you're in right now. Yes, sir. Isn't that something, Brother Willie? Praise God. The reason, Brother Willie has so much trouble is because God trusts his most faithful soldiers with his greatest battles. Isn't it something? All of you across the world right now in Islamic nations yes. who are being persecuted for your faith as a Northern Christian. Part of Nigeria, yes. 
God help you. We're praying for you. Don't you know that great is your reward in heaven? We love you. We're praying for you. Rejoice, Rejoice. and be exceeding glad. Boy, you, your oppressors don't know what to do when they hit you with everything they got. And what do you do? Rejoice and are exceeding glad. This afternoon, I sent a message to all of our political officials and law enforcement officials who are being boycotted right now, who are being rioted right now, who are being looted right now. People are camping out in front of their houses and say, we're praying for you, leaders, because we've been there a long time as Christians. And the world can't go through what we go through, Brother Willie. With the Egyptians are saying to do so, we're drowned. They can't go through what we go through. So I'm encouraging you with hope today. Amen. There's four things you want to look at over in the book of Ezekiel. Uh, <clears throat> let me give you a little bit of revelation at this moment. The 20, let's try Ezekiel, his pre-exilic prophet, the 22nd chapter, the 25th through the 29th verse. So in Ezekiel 22, 25, 26, 27, 29, there's an order, Brother Willie. An order. Number one, prophets, verse 25 of Ezekiel 22. Verse 26, the word is priests, the four P's of delegation. So in Ezekiel 22, 25, prophets, verse 26, priests, verse 27, princes, verse 29, people. Verse 30, I sought a man who would Lord. stand in the gap and make up the hedge. Help us, Lord. I'm looking for somebody right now. Yes. The reason that America is in an uproar and city blocks are being taken over by rioters is because the people don't have princes. The princes don't have priests. Mm -hmm. The priests don't have prophets. And the people? Oh, and the people are ruling. They're rebelling. Instead of the princes. It should be a prophet. There's no order. Ordering the priests. And the priests should order the princes. Kings, magistrates, governors, mayors, policemen. Mm, powerful. And they should order the people. Powerful. But instead, everything's upside down. Mm -hmm. You have the people telling the princes, no, we're the boss now. And you have the princes muzzling the priests. Powerful. And you have the priests rebelling against the prophets. Pastor, this is God's order in every nation. Right? Every, nation. every nation. Humanity. It doesn't matter if you're in a communist nation, a socialist nation, a democratic nation, a theocratic nation, a monarchical nation, mm -hmm. regardless. A republic or a democracy. It doesn't matter if you're in a, a dictator nation, this is God's order. Order. Mm -hmm. We must have prophets. Because God has a prophet. Because God is a theocracy. And a theocracy has to have a theocrat. That's powerful. need to read uh, Bishop Wilson's book on rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2.15 said, uh, it said, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Truth from truth, truth from truth. So there has to be a prophet. That's God's theocrat. You know, early this morning, Pastor, I'm, I was up praying and then I was reading the Bible and then I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of study in, um, in, in the Fathers and Church History. Yeah. But funny because um, it sounds like even the order in the church. The it is. Fold, Apostles, prophets, pastors, evangelists, teachers, evangelists. There's yes. an order. There is an order. God's That's the five-fold ministry. Out of order. Five fingers on your hand. The prophet is number one. Four fingers and a thumb. Rep. Because, see, the reason I was studying this, dear faithful, my followers anyway, uh, there's a thought, you know, in, in various denominations. The denomination, well, we can just say it. A lot of Catholics in Eastern Orthodox. They think that you're not used of God unless you have what's called apostolic secession. Yeah. But St. Paul said that uh, when God has called you, it's not that you're a priest 
It's that if you're the fivefold mm -hmm. prophet, apostle, prophet, yeah. pastor, evangelist, uh, teacher. Apostle, prophet, pastor, evangelist, teacher. Because you can show on paper that uh, you come from a long line of Saint Jehoshaphat or what. It doesn't mean yeah. that you're not in error, that you're that you're that you have correct doctrine, or even that you're holy. God calls, you know, like Saint Paul, he was knocked off his horse. Sure. Stricken down with blindness for 72 hours. In Acts 9, 17, Ananias came and showed him a more blessed way. And he didn't have no apostolic uh, no. when God called him. No <laughs> way. So there's an order is what we're trying to say in the world. Mm -hmm. In creation there was an order, wasn't you talking yeah. that? First Corinthians 11 and 1, Paul said, Be ye followers. The word is mimite in the Greek or mimic. Uh -huh. He said, mimic me as I mimic Christ. So, God is the head of Christ, is the head of man, is the head of woman, is the head of children. In that order. So there's an at, order in the family. There's look, an order look in society. what's happening in America. The, order in the children are ruling the mom, who's ruling the dad, who's right. ruling the pastor, who's ruling God. Do no. Do God, do you got to get the order right. Yes. Everything in its own order. We got to get right. That unlocks a lot of the uh, in Corinthians, a lot of the teaching about coverings, doesn't it? Per it's everything in life, order, right? everything in life has a covering. That's why you need yeah. a pastor. You need a pastor that's teaching. You. The head of every apostolic man is Christ. Pastor, you need a covering. So a man needs an apostolic pastor, prophet. He needs somebody. Somebody say, well, it's why do you word. call it's yourself the by these titles? Well, plumbers introduce themselves as I'm a plumber. <laughs> Electricians introduce themselves as an an electrician. Why do you want to be ashamed of your calling? Jesus said, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. We need to identify ourselves. Identify yourself. Tell me who you are. Jesus got out of the ship on the shore of Gadara and said, I demand you tell me who you are. We are legions, but we're many. I want to know who I'm fighting. I got you. I want to know who you are. Mm -hmm. That's why we need the gift of discernment. Praise God. We want to discern, is this person for me or against me? Joshua did it Yes. before going to Jericho. He said, are you for us or against yeah. us? He said, are you on my side or against me? Yes, yes, He yes. said, hey, I'm the captain of the Lord's host. And Moses did it too, didn't he, Pastor? He said, he who's on the Lord's side? Get over here. And the priests, the godly priests, the yeah. Levites, immediately. They came to it. They, hey, who's on the Lord's side? Maybe God is asking us that today. There is a gathering today, not yes. only in America, Praise but globally. Y'all are watching this Praise God. EIP network globally, and you're gathering. There's a separation of the men from the boys right now. From every kind of denomination, every tribe, oh, yeah. and every tongue, and every continent. There's a separation between the real and the counterfeit right now. Yes. I yes. want to have enough faith to say... I'm not going to shudder. I'm not careful to answer you in this matter. Praise God. We're not careful. Hey, the, the, nobody's careful anymore. Man, they're burning buildings down and, and busting windows. They're not careful. Why I, should I be careful? I love that language. We're not careful, and I just read today, without controversy. Great. That's the message. I oh, mean, yes. we've got to be bold and get to the point. It's not up for question. It's not open for debate. This is real. We was teaching a Bible class uh, Wednesday night, Powerful. and man, a lady had a she had a question, and phew, here come the scripture, and revelation came into that room. It was, powerful, powerful. It was like we were in a dark room, and the light turned on, oh. illumination, and tears started coming down her face. She yes, said, yes, "Wow, yes. how come I never heard this before?" Mine too. It was powerful. oh, it's revelation. You can't know God apart from revelation. Amen. You have to have revelation. No, because there's so many brilliant people, and they know they can talk to you in Hebrew, they can talk to you in Greek, they can talk to you in Latin. Mm -hmm. But it's all up here in the head. Yeah. Whereas God wants to root flesh and blood, Simon Bajo. Hath has not, not revealed. revealed this to you. But my father did. Praise God. That means my father don't have flesh and blood. You can take blood. all my education. You can take all my languages. Yeah. But look. Reveal, do you know who Jesus is? Yeah, isn't that something he said? Praise God. 
Flesh and blood did not, but my father did. My father did. That means my father is not the first person in the Trinity. Praise God. Because a person has to have flesh and blood. Go ahead. But my father don't have flesh and blood. He's a spirit. Powerful. <laughs> Does a spirit have flesh and blood? No, John 4, 24, God is spirit. Luke 24, 39, oh, a spirit hath not flesh and blood. And if you want to worship the Lord truly, you have to worship in spirit and, and in truth. truth. Yes, sir. So uh, That's powerful, Pastor. this is EIP. I'm here with my faithful cohort in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, United States of America. Excellence in preaching. I'm here with he. He is here with me. <laughs> yes, I'm here with him and he's here with me. And remember, emotion is contagious. Oh, emotional and contagious. And smiles are contagious. That's a great book. Uh, I, I have it on my shelf. You need to read. Emotional Contagion. So when we get happy, everybody gets happy. And you can't lose with the stuff with we the stuff use. we use. Uh, so this is brought to you by, by the, the one and only Jesus Christ, the mighty God. Praise God. And uh, he is the master of every situation. One more time, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Is Jesus in the Godhead or mm -hmm. is the Godhead in Jesus? Oh, no. Jesus couldn't be in the Godhead because Colossians 1.19, Colossians 2.9 says, For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. The him is Jesus. And then it says, For all it pleased the Father that in him, all Jesus, fullness. all fullness should dwell. See, somebody so, needs to get that revelation. Yeah. Praise Jesus God. is not in, in the, the Godhead. Word. The Godhead is in Jesus. All the Father, all the Son, all the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Philip, have I been so long time with you, yet hast thou not known me? He, he that has seen, seen me has seen, seen the, the Father. Father. Powerful. So when you read the book of Isaiah, especially if you have an old Schofield Bible, every page is going to have a revelation of who Jesus is. In Isaiah? Oh, Isaiah 12. Powerful. Read Isaiah 12 and 2, Brother Willie. Isaiah, Isaiah. chapter 12 uh -huh. and verse number 2. I want y'all to get this revelation, and we're going to leave y'all with this today. Behold, uh -huh. God is my salvation. The word salvation there in the in the Hebrew would be uh, Jehovah Savior. God. Behold, in the New Testament, that would be Jesus. Uh -huh. So the Bible said in Isaiah 12 and 2 God of the Old Jesus. Testament, God <laughs> is Jesus. Read. Hallelujah. Behold, God is my salvation. Behold, God is my Jesus. I will trust and not be afraid. I'm going to trust in God who is Jesus, and I'm not going to be afraid. Read. For the Lord Jehovah uh -huh. is my strength. He is my strength. And my song. And my song. <laughs> <laughs> and he has now also become yep. my salvation. And, and from the Old to the New Testament, <laughs> God who is my strength and my song of the Old Testament has become Jesus Christ. My, my, my. God Never stopped being what he always was, and he became for a short time what he had never before been. A man. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Revelation that Jesus is the mighty God. Reminds me of that verse because it, it goes on and says, With joy you shall draw water. And Jesus said, <laughs> John 4 14. Mm. Oh, if you knew who it was that asked you for something to drink, you'd ask me for something to drink. And out of your belly. Out of your belly, feet. John 7, 37, shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Spirit. That means the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost were oh. all one. Praise God. Because he was talking about the Holy Ghost in John 7, 38 and 9. And Isaiah was talking about the same thing. Right? He was. Behold, God... <laughs> Is my Jesus. God is my Jesus. So uh, we're bringing you another edition of the EIP. I want y'all to tune Thank in. Thank you for joining us, faithful. Today is uh, June the 9th. Is that it? 9th? 12th or something like that. Anyway, it's Friday in the it's United Friday. States. Day after tomorrow Don't is going to be Sunday. Don't fish, Catholics. Yeah. <laughs> Always eat fish. I'll if you were in the Old Testament it. dietary law of Leviticus 11, he had to have scales. Scales? Yeah. Couldn't be slick skin. Like the coney and the hair and Camel, the Camel coney, swine, swine Camel hair. Camel coney, Had to be cloven-footed. Uh, he had to divide the hoof, and and uh, and he had to be a good chewer, too. That means he had to have the internal sign of cleanliness and the external sign of cleanliness. Holding the separation. Holding the separation from the world. That's us. If you want to see an apostolic, look at Leviticus 11. God says you have to have the external sign of holiness and the internal sign of holiness. Don't just be a good chewer, but be a 
hoof divider too. We'll talk about that. And for my precious mm -hmm. followers, don't forget to send us your prayer requests. And uh, if you need deliverance, healing, a touch in your body, we want to send you a prayer cloth from this anointed move of God, free of charge. Want to send y'all prayer cloths? You right, Brother Willie, you're right, Pastor Tony Spell. Want to send y'all sermons. Also, some of you need to get water baptized. In Jesus' name. Y'all need to go live and let us say in the we name of Jesus We can pronounce the words Christ. over you. We can do that over you, no matter where you are. And, uh, you You'll never be in. the same, I'm a witness. Oh no, get into this movement. Praise God. Get into this Jesus name movement. Get into it. Separate the men from the boys. Oh yeah. The true church from the counter. From the counter church. God, in the name of Jesus, you, go out to these people that need hope today. Lord God, we thank tonight, you Tonight, whatever time zone that they're in, mm. God, I pray that My you God would anoint them. Jesus. Australia, Praise God, God. In, in China Nigeria, right now, Bostana, God, Nigeria, Kenya, all these different Singapore, countries in the world. Malaysia, Japan, I pronounce the power and the Jesus, unction of the Holy Jesus. Ghost Hallelujah. upon them. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit and loose every what chain from Jesus. you. We Break every Jesus bondage in Jesus' God. name. God, we're careful to give you glory, honor, and power for it. Jesus name we pray it and everyone said amen God bless you next time we love y'all in Jesus name Jesus name